Okay, good morning, everybody. My name is Christopher Bartlett, and I am an instructional technology specialist here in Exeter County ISD. Um, really quickly, I'm just going to show you some very basic functions, less than five minutes, because that's what I've got on Screencastify to show you. Um, and so I'm going to show you just some basics of um, Google Docs, right? So a couple of different ways that we can access Google Docs just from the jump. We can do docs.google.com. Docs and that'll take us to a new one. Or what I can do just from that very front screen is I can just click right up here in this top right hand corner where my waffle is and I can go down to docs and then we've got it there. So whichever way is easiest for you, that's the big thing. So I'm gonna click a blank document. It's got templates available to me so you can um, look at those templates. You can kind of browse and see if any of those fit what you need it for. Um, first thing I would suggest is always name your document. That way this saves automatically into your Google Drive, but you don't want just a bunch of untitled document, untitled document, untitled document in there because then um, that messes up your organization. And you also don't know where, whenever you're trying to share these things or find these things to edit or do whatever, it's hard to find them, especially if you forget to name them. So good standard practice is to just start naming them um, automatically. Um, this chain, anything opposed to Microsoft, which does have auto saving features, but you still want to, you know, everybody just always checks, make sure that they save constantly um, manually in uh, Microsoft Word. On Google Docs, you automatically, it automatically saves everything. Um, it auto saves everything so that you're not having to do it. Um, what's really nice about that is that you can always check because it saves after every change, you can always check and see, you can go back to previous versions um, of the document from before a change happened. If you, if by some chance everything gets deleted or it gets changed or it does something and you need to get it back because of the, how um, Google auto saves everything, you're able to do that. Um, so there are a lot of things with Google. It's very, very user friendly because it's not a, you know, it's not a software. It's all web based. Um, so they want everything available to you right there. So they've got a very basic toolbar right here. It has, you know, you can play with your different font sizes, your font styles, uh, bold, italicize, underline. You can also mess with adjustments. Um, you can do bullets. Um, this, the hyperlink. So, you know, if I wanted to do, you know, Google tips and tricks, and then I've got, you know, a uh, link, I can highlight that, click here, do this, and then I apply that. And now whenever I share this, anybody can see um, they can go to that hyperlink that I've got in there. Um, one nice, very nice thing that they do have is because it is connected online, they have this explore button here, right? So I was an ELR teacher. So if I wanted to do, you know, if I was doing something on Greek mythology, I could type something here and then I can start doing research. I'm, I've got my doc right here ready for me to type and do things. Um, and so I can do my research while I've got this, which makes things very, very easy. Um, I can also add images just automatically, which is really nice. So you can click it um, and just insert. And then once you select this, you can start playing around with the image options as well. You can change the size and rotations, how the text wraps around it. If you want to adjust it or recolor it, um, you can make it more transparent. So if you wanted to have text and this has be like a background or something, you can do that as well. Um, and see, just to kind of show you what it looks like, um, I can, this has been saved in the drive, but I can click here and then I can go back. This is on my current version, but I can go back here to where it was, and I can restore that. And that gets me to a place before I added everything. And so that's kind of what I meant whenever, um, because this auto saves constantly, you can go to different versions of what you've got saved um, or of your document because now, especially with um, remote learning, we're kind of using these constantly. And so um, you can, as your this becomes a living document with you, you can you know get back to previous versions very, very simply. Um, one great thing I wanted to show you is a tool called voice typing. Um, we have students who may not be the most comfortable with actual typing on a keyboard, um, or this might be you know, something that's completely different to them after they checked out stuff. So you can use that very simply. There's a lot of stuff that you can do with this. This was just a, just a very few, uh, just um, a few features of it. Um, Everything is in your Google Drive. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. Um, your instructional technology specialist, you can reach out to me or your campus instructional technology specialist. And um, have a great day.